just gonna do with another new video, so, um, today, if you read the title, um, I'm gonna be making a game or a school assignment, technically, about this project. Essentially, the project was, is you have to make a character bounce off of four walls in order to win, but they couldn't go straight up or straight down, they probably, they had to go diagonal. It also had to be done on a coordinate plane, which if you didn't know was like X, Y values and you had to show the coordinates that your character went to. I also had to program hit detection, which I actually haven't done since I don't usually make these types of platformer games. So that was actually a challenge. Right now I'm making the walls that the character has to bounce to. I'm labeling, labeling them 1 through 4 for which one they go to 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Then I made a start point for the character since we needed that as well. The start point essentially says where the character is going to start. Then I made the character itself, which was literally just a cube with some eyes on it, because I didn't want to spend too much time. Then I made some a quick script, which made it just glide to a random position to just see what it did. Then I added a couple sound effects from the thing. Then I created some variables. Now, I attempted to do hit detection here, and my first what I wanted to try to do is if it touched the edge, it would bounce and play a little sound. Now, this did work, but the real challenge actually didn't come in until I actually had to make hit detection for the walls. Now, to do this, I actually had to watch a video tutorial on how to do this. And I did copy the video tutorial, but it ended up not working that well. Uh, I don't know why, but the tutorial was made in Scratch 2.0 which is probably why since it's a little outdated. Then I had to go onto the forums, scratch forums to find out how to do this. I found a second way that still didn't really work out that well. So yeah, I was pretty annoyed by this point, but um, I did eventually find a tutorial on how to do it, which actually did use like a couple of like, variables and stuff like that. This took me a really long time to figure out, and I must admit this is probably the second longest thing in all of this project. Anyway, in the project, you, it said you have to make a portal, which is supposed to, I think, teleport the player to a random position. So I just made a simple kind of portal thing by making some cool little purple graphics. Then I changed the size to 50 and put it directly in the middle. The idea was is that once the character touches it, it teleports them to a random position, kind of messing up the path. And it also does some cool little trail thing. To make the trail, I used a pen just to make little cool effect. So essentially it made a trail that followed the player when it goes into the portal and then it deletes the trail 0.5 seconds after. After this, I started messing around with the portal by adding like multiple players to see how crazy the effect could get, could get, and also adding multiple effects. This part is not part of the assignment, I just simply did it to mess around and see what it would look like.
The effect ended up actually being pretty cool, but obviously this isn't what you were supposed to do in the assignment, so I did end up deleting it. Next to do was the you win screen, so this is essentially when the character touches the fourth wall, it essentially just says you win. Now this was pretty simple, I just did some cool graphics as you can see here. The next step was to actually program it to hit the first wall, second wall, third wall, and fourth wall. This was pretty simple, but this very tedious since I had to make all these angles, etc. And since in school you have to show your work, I decided that after the game won, it would show a little thing that would uh, give kind of a diagram and label everything out. Now the next step I had to do was show my work further, so I kind of did a behind the scenes look on how this project works, kind of showing what each variable does. Now this was kind of cool to do since I actually got to explain how this works. There was multiple variables around 4, so there was how much objects were touched, there was hit detection variables, and then one other one, other one that I can't really remember.
Okay, so here's the final product. The character goes from wall 1 to wall 2 to wall 3 and eventually to wall 4. Then once it gets to wall 4, there's a little effect, a little pixelate effect, and then it says you win. Then um, the math actually fades in, so it's a little diagram of which line is which, and then a little like legend for what the portal does. Anyway, if you press H to see the tables, it will actually give you a lot more than just tables. It will give you stuff like um, behind the scenes, like this. It will show you how what each variable does. It will show like what how the player sprite works, etc. It also shows how individual scripts themselves work. And then we have random mode. Random mode essentially means all the player's movements are random, and this is kind of just to demonstrate how the portal works. As you can see here, it does some weird effect. I don't know why the effect doesn't delete immediately, but anyway, guys, that's the video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Consider subscribing and liking the video if you did like it. Anyway, guys, on that note, bye!